Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Tester and today we're going to take a look at the Electro Harmonics made in New York City mini synthesizer. So based on their hardware, their piece of hardware gear, their little their little synth, uh, which 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 was very nice, which was very nice. And this gives you the same thing, you know, so you don't get uh, loads and loads of stuff. You just get a few sliders to mess with. And, and remember that Electro Harmonics are uh, uh, basically a pedal pedal and effects company and they make very good so you can expect the reverb and the delay to be very good and they are especially the reverse delay i'm very happy with so this is uh you get like a number of presets to start you off and uh, basically you also have here the ability to go into modern and you can map your own your own scales by taking out various um, uh, various notes, basically. So you know, so so you can take out an F there, take out G. And then you have your MIDI set up here. Uh, back to this so we can go to the lock sweep. The difference with this one, of course, is that you're not limited now anymore to just the basic octaves. You've got the whole eight octaves to, to have a mess with. And also it's polyphonic. Four note polyphonic, by the way, four note. It's a very rich analog sound. You can also choose the whether it's delay reverb in the chain or reverb delay. And you can detune sub octave. It's interrap audio and audio bus compatible. What's also nice, I'll just show you here with it. I created this patch yesterday. You have this cool ribbon along the top. I think it's a two second delay as well you can have up to. So, yeah.
Ooh, sounds like the TARDIS. <laughs> so we'll go down there for a bit of bass and bass. So the effects colour the sound quite nicely. And don't forget this is based on their little analog synth. So there's no I mean you've got not like got like a choice of oscillators and stuff, but you can change it by the like the phase rate, the the, the start points of the filter. Oh, you know, Telstar, you guess the sound. Cool thing is you can play in poly. This would be a good point to show you the reverse reverb in action as well, because it is too cool. So you can choose from play to reverse. We've got a bit of lens sum in here, have some amount. That reverse delay, uh, reverb is just fab. So it's also very, very easy. to get a very very rich and um, powerful powerful sound now, it's also very simple of course to Save your own. Very simple indeed. Let's remember how to do it now. Uh, okay, let's do this. There. 
I did it yesterday, re really easy. Ah, there you go. As soon as you start to, as soon as you start to adjust the preset, you'll see a little disc appear there. And then you just hit the disc and done. And then it's in your user presets down here. So that's how you do that. See that because they're geniuses at effects like harmonics just by playing with the effects you can completely change the tonat tonality and color of the sound now if you didn't want that if you didn't want that okay uh like i said it's a, you, you can use it as an interrap audio or through audio bus and run it through their effects and stuff and change everything up indeed so just by changing the reverb from plate to reverse you've completely changed the sound out Okay, guys, there you go. The Electro Harmonics Mini Synthesizer. Very, very cool indeed. Now, I'm not saying go out and buy this, but, you know, I did. I bought it. So, and I, I, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's very cool. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Electro Harmonics made in New York City, USA. Mini Synthesizer, the model SH, EH, sorry, 1600. I, I'm sure a lot of you will remember the actual original original cool little synth very nice very nice indeed a lot of fun so yeah you get a manual as well full manual which tells you what it is subtractive virtual analog synthesizer and like i said before anyone starts going and well where's the adsr where's the selection of oscillators uh, where's the lfo and stuff like that this is not what this this is this is a virtual representation of their hardware and this is what the hardware synth was and very popular it was too Bear in mind, if you've got MIDI control for your guitar, or if you've got a MIDI app, you can play your guitar through it, which is what many people did with the electro harmonic stuff. In fact, they do little synthesizers for bass, I think, and guitar as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you have liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Visit us at thesoundtestroom.com, where me, Colin, uh, Jacob, or John uh, will try and help you out with uh, whatever we can. And, uh, yeah. I shall see you guys later and 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 and, and have a good day. We're gonna we've got some good apps lately coming for iOS. All right, guys, see you later.